This is Max, our first child, an inspiration for our project. Since we found out we were pregnant, we started thinking about some serious problems our world is facing and how that will affect his future. Our way of life is destroying our most essential resources. Oil spills poison our seas, nuclear power will leave waste for millennia, our garbage builds in the oceans and land, and our fresh water is being depleted and bottled up. We need to think about green in a new way, not as a buzzword for high-end design or the latest fad. But for this to happen, sustainability needs to be affordable. We decided to use what we know, architecture and development, and set out to find a new way of looking at how a home functions. These designs began our new company, Max Living and Design, with a focus on finding an affordable, sustainable way of life through design and construction. After months of research and design, we developed Mesh, modular, ecologically sustainable habitat, meaning a home that provides for itself, or in other words, needs no infrastructure. Not only is it suitable for off-grid living, the container is designed to fold back up into itself, making it completely mobile. The more we developed it, the more we saw the possibilities, from lake cabins to modular homes to an off-grid sustainable hotel. So we took a leap of faith and started buying all the elements needed to put this concept together. We set out to build a project that people can experience firsthand and learn about a sustainable lifestyle. Our journey began in a steel shop in Chicago where we recycled a 20-foot shipping container into the structure for our home. From there we put the container on a trailer and brought it to some farmland in Lake Geneva, our home base for what we call the Mesh Lab. Here our experiment continues as we complete the construction on this dwelling designed for a small family, complete with kitchen, bathroom, storage, and even a small pool. To make this design affordable, we looked at how old and new technologies can work together. In the developing world, sustainable practices are already necessary for daily survival. So why not use these proven methods, like slow sand filters from Latin America for water purification, to biodigesters in India that provide fuel for cooking with waste and food scraps. These techniques, along with rain collection and solar panels, are all integral elements of this design. One of the biggest goals for this project is to have it collect and recycle as much water as it uses. As a small company using our own limited funds, this has not been easy. But with your investment, we hope to make it happen. When it's finished, we hope this project will be a showcase of possibilities for affordable, sustainable design that can be implemented not just off-grid, but in conventional projects as well. This is intended to start a dialogue and challenge others to work on making green affordable and accessible so that in the future, Max and his generation can have a chance at enjoying our planet.